In today's video, I'll be sharing how I made an additional $1,155 with ChatGPT. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is May and I'm an online business coach who has helped hundreds of individuals new to the digital world achieve massive online income through building risk-free online businesses which requires zero startup cost. In today's job servicing tutorial, I'll be sharing how I use ChatGPT to earn an extra $1,155 based on just one client. So basically, ChatGPT is a fantastic tool if you are doing job servicing because we can literally replace the current jobs that we are outsourcing to the freelancer and depend on ChatGPT to do the jobs. There are four main digital services that I have replaced the freelancers and used JetGPT instead. And that is how I'm able to save my cost on running my job servicing agency. So today I will be doing a case study for you. For this case study, I'll be only focusing on my target audience, which are the property agents. The very first digital service that I use ChatGPT to do the job will be the website contents. For this service, I usually engage Fiverr Freelancer which costs about $150 to $200. So take for example this freelancer, I'm actually being charged $175 every time I create a website content. So here is a Fiverr Freelancer that charged $175 for 600 word website blog post. Ever since I started using ChatGPT, I'm no longer paying $175 for a website content. In order for you to use ChatGPT effectively, we need to use a specific prompts. This way, your website article is going to look much more professional. Now, let me show you on ChatGPT how I usually write my prompts in order for me to get a more professional looking website article. For website content, our client usually need the SEO optimized content. So we need to put in this prompt, write me a 600 word SEO optimized website article about the disadvantages of buying a freehold property in Singapore. So one thing to remember is whenever you create website content, you need to put in this prompt and follow by the title of the article. So this seems very simple to do, but one thing we really need to take note will be the matter of plagiarism, whereby any AI generated article will be marked as a plagiarized content by the search engine. Basically, plagiarized content is not good for any website because it violates the search engine guidelines. So search engine is going to penalize whichever website that uses AI contents. Now, I have a solution for you, and that is to do paraphrasing. One of the more reliable paraphrasing sites will be Quillbot. You can use this website for free, but it has a limit of 125 words. Later on, I'll be showing you a hack on how you can use the paraphraser unlimited times. Using this Quillbot is super easy. All you need to do is to copy the contents from ChatGPT and just paste it over here. This website content generated by ChatGPT has about 600 words. In order for you to fully paraphrase the whole content, the whole article, then you need to do it paragraph by paragraph. So as you can see here, the moment I paste the whole article, Qbot is able to only help me paraphrase the first two paragraphs. So what you need to do is you do it two paragraphs by two paragraphs. The moment you have finished the first two paragraphs, you copy and then paste it on a note. It seems troublesome, but actually it is very easy. If you don't want to do this step, then go ahead and subscribe for their premium plan. The second digital service that I no longer engage a freelancer to do is the sales copy or we call it the sales page. Freelancers on Fiverr usually charge $120 for a 450 word sales copy. So right now, let me show you on ChatGPT how I usually write the prompts so that my sales copy is more convincing. Before I go into that, 
you need to understand what is the purpose of a sales copy. So basically, why our client need us to do a sales landing page or we call that a sales copy is because they want to get leads, right? So we want to prompt ChatGPT to write a 450 words which are highly optimized for conversion sales landing page that promote free property consultation service in Singapore targeting condo sellers. So this is one tip that I want you to take away when you want to use ChatGPT, you really need to be as specific as possible and you need to understand what your target audience really need and what your target audience objective are when they want to engage your service. Now if you do not use very specific prompts on ChatGPT, then you will get results which are very generic and the sales copy will not be convincing at all. So if you want your sales copy, for example, want it to be more convincing, then you just tell ChatGPT to make it more convincing or you can even tell ChatGPT to make it sound less salesy. So try not to use prompts which are too generic. The next digital service that I use ChatGPT to help me with will be the social media content strategy. Usually for this service, it will be a monthly basis. So for a four week content strategy, the Fiverr Freelancer charges $650. Now on ChatGPT, I would use this prompt, create a four week TikTok content calendar for a property agent in Singapore. This prompt is super amazing because you can use it for yourself as well as for your clients. And it gives you every single day for four weeks or for the whole month, all the content ideas. The cost of $650 charged by the Fiverr Freelancer also includes action plan. So you can also use ChatGPT to help you create an action plan. And this action plan also guide your client day by day how he or she should do their contents. For social media content strategy, most of the time client will also want you to provide the hashtag and you too can use ChatGPT to help you generate all the trending hashtags that you need. The fourth digital service that I no longer engage the Fiverr Freelancer to do will be the video script. So many property agents are doing YouTube videos and most of the time I will engage the Fiverr Freelancer to help me with the script writing. For a 60 to 90 second video script, it will cost about $210. On ChatGPT, this will be my prompt. Write a YouTube content about how good is it to invest in condo named the sale at Marina Bay, Singapore. There are times 
means that ChatGPT did not give you a more in-depth video script. What you can do is you can ask additional questions on ChatGPT or use a different prompt to continue the conversation. I feel that this content didn't really emphasize a lot on how much the investors are making. So I would continue my conversation by saying, write about how much owners are making investing in the above property. So I will read through the whole content and also filter through which content is more suitable to add on to the main content. ChatGPT will not be able to replace 100% of the freelancer's work, but if I'm able to save 1000 plus on every single client, I think my profit margin will be much more higher. And also at the same time, I'll be saving a lot of time by getting the result faster instead of waiting for the freelancer to do the job. Overall, I feel that ChatGPT has helped me save a lot of costs as well as save a lot of time in terms of managing my job servicing business. These are just some of the digital services that I'm using ChatGPT to replace the fiber freelancers, but there are actually more. If you want me to make a part two of this ChatGPT series, do let me know in the comments below. So that's all for my video today. I hope you find today's video helpful. And if you are new here and you are interested to learn more about job servicing, I have more videos, tutorial on job servicing over here. So make sure that you check them out and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.